Hi, this is Janet Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Monday, August 10th, 2015. Over the next few days, there are no significant fire potential impacts in the forecast. We will see thunderstorms develop across the eastern two-thirds of the Great Basin this afternoon, and there is potential for some isolated dry thunderstorms across the northern uh, part of the area where these storms develop. Winds will be gusty near thunderstorms this afternoon. We're expecting gusty winds to develop across the western portion of the Great Basin during the Wednesday-Thursday time frame. Over the past 24 hours, there was not too much precipitation across the Great Basin and a bit of lightning. With those storms, there were a few new lightning starts. Looking at the WPC precipitation forecast, in the one to three day time period, you can see quite a bit of precipitation is forecast to fall across the Great Basin, with the greatest amounts across central and southern Utah. Looking at days four and five, we will see a drying trend, and as a result, not as much precipitation is expected moving um, in towards the end of the week. The water vapor satellite shows a low pressure system off the west coast of the U.S. with a high pressure system just to the east of the area, and the interaction between these two systems will drive our weather over the next few days. Looking at fire potential for today, uh, mostly low across the area with the driest fuels across the Great Basin over the western portion. As I mentioned a moment ago, we will see showers and thunderstorms develop this afternoon, mainly across a higher terrain of the eastern portion of the Great Basin, and again, across the northern part of the Great Basin where these storms develop, they, there is a potential for some isolated dry thunderstorms. Winds will be gusty across portions of central Nevada this afternoon. On Tuesday, we'll see moisture continuing to increase from south to north across the Great Basin, and as you'd expect, thunderstorm coverage will increase northward on Tuesday. With deeper moisture moving into the area, st storms will become increasingly wet from the south on Tuesday. And again, on Tuesday afternoon, we will see those gusty winds across portions of central Nevada. That moisture will continue to make its way northward through Wednesday, and we'll be looking at another afternoon on Wednesday with showers and thunderstorms, and storm coverage will be greatest on Wednesday uh, with the deepest moisture. On Thursday, we'll see a bit of drying across the Great Basin, and the main concern on Thursday is across the western part of the Great Basin where winds will be gusty. So there is a potential on Thursday afternoon for that combination of gusty winds and low relative humidity. Moving into Friday, we'll see that dry air continue to make its way eastward with a drying trend continuing into Saturday. So from Thursday into the weekend, we will see a decrease in aerial coverage of thunderstorms. And that trend will continue into Sunday with drier air moving into most of the Great Basin by Sunday afternoon. Looking at the current field conditions, as we've been saying over and over, ERCs are below normal for the time of year. You can see that most of the stations most of the raw stations have been reporting ERCs below the 50th percentile. And when we look at the PSAs as a whole, they have also been trending below normal. Looking at the 8- to 14-day period, the Climate Prediction Center is calling for above normal temperatures across the majority of the Great Basin, as well as above normal precipitation. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our email information is on the screen. You can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.